Hey Maker, if you use the native photos app to edit your product photos on your Mac and you want to learn how to properly resize them for Etsy using this software, this video is for you. If this is your first time joining me, my name is Christina Nicole and I am a product photography coach teaching makers like you how to take your own high quality product photos that actually attract more customers and make more sales for your product based business. If you don't know what resizing is, why it matters or what the recommendation is for Etsy, then I suggest checking out my recent video resizing images for Etsy 2023 and you can grab a link for that in the description below this video. Now I'm gonna take you inside of the Photos app on my MacBook Pro to show you how to use my three-step process to properly resize your images for Etsy. So on your Mac, you're gonna to go to the Native Photos app. When you open that up, this is what it's going to look like. Quick disclaimer here, while you are able to crop your photos to the proper aspect ratio using the native photos app on your iPhone. The iPhone does not allow you to do steps two or three of resizing. So you cannot resize your photos in full on your iPhone without using a third party app, but you can do all three steps of resizing here inside of the Mac version. I have imported this image you're going to click on the image you want to edit and then you're going to scroll up to the top here and we're going to select edit photo. Okay. And then this is going to open up here. Got a lot of different options, but today we are focusing on resizing your images for Etsy. So step one of resizing is going to be cropping to the proper aspect ratio. So we're going to go to the top here. We're going to select crop. You'll see over here we have some preset aspect ratios available to us. For Etsy, you're going to choose either a 4-3 or a 5-4, which you'll notice in this program that it is written as a 4-5. Okay, I'm going to choose the 4-5. We want to make sure we have the horizontal selected. And then we're going to come up here and we're going to frame the image. Now this is a little different in this software compared to others where we're actually going to grab the image and move it. We're not going to actually move the box that we're, we're framing here. I'm going to come in a little tighter. A little bit of that, but I want that centered. There we go. We'll select done. We'll scroll back up to the top here. So that was step one of resizing. So we're in full frame. We're going to put our cursor up at the top and now we're going to go to file and we're going to go to export export one photo this is going to allow us to do steps two and three of resizing so step two of resizing is reducing the pixel dimensions so that is right here under size now you may come in here and it may be selected as small but what you want to do is you want to do a custom and we can, you can choose either the width or height, but you will have to know if you're using a 5.4 for Etsy that the width is going to be 2,500 and the height is going to be 2,000. But because we've already set that aspect ratio, we're automatically going to just choose the width and put in 2,500. And that will allow for the height to automatically adjust to 2,000 because we've already set that aspect ratio in step one. Okay, so this is step two. The third step is going to be reducing that file size, which we're gonna do with the JPEG quality. Now make sure JPEG is selected here, okay? We're gonna start with maximum. We're gonna look at those results and see what that provides us. Just an additional tip here for the color profile, you'll wanna choose sRGB. That is the universal color profile for online. Okay, so once we have selected maximum, we are going to export. Go back out of full screen there so that I can right click on the image I saved and bring the info in. 
Okay, so you'll see here that we've resized to 2,500 by 2,000, but our maximum is a little big, 2.9 megabytes. We wanna be under one megabyte, meet XC's recommendations, and I recommend around 500 to 700 kilobytes. So let's open this image up again, select edit. We're gonna go back to file. So we've already done step one cropping, that, that saved. And then we're gonna go file, export, export one photo. And this time we're gonna change this to high. And our pixel dimensions are already adjusted. So at this point, we're just trying to get the right quality so that our file size is small enough. So we're gonna export that. I'm gonna right click on the photo and get info. And that reduced us to a 594 kilobytes, which is perfect for uploading your images to Etsy. So step one was cropping to the proper aspect ratio. Step two was adjusting those pixel dimensions to 2500 by 2000. We entered the width and it automatically adjusted the height based on our aspect ratio. And step three of resizing was reducing the quality so that we reduce the file size down to a 594 kilobyte with a high quality. If you have any questions on resizing your product photos using Apple's native photos app, then drop your questions into the comments below this video. Please take the time to like this video if you found it useful and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you wanna learn more about taking your own high quality product photos. See you next time.